how to create a newsletter with canva hello everyone welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can create your own newsletter in canva so let's jump right in now the first thing you want to do is you want to go on to ChatGPT and you can ask ChatGPT what is going to create a good newsletter. We can find a lot of pointers on the internet but it basically is going to summarize everything and tell you what you need to do. First off is having a compelling subject which needs to be short, attention grabbing. Then you want engaging content. You also want some type of personalization. This includes including names of the person that you're sending your newsletters out to. Then you want visual appeal and clear call to actions. You also want exclusive content and have a regular consistent scheduling for your newsletters. You also need to make sure they are mobile friendly and then you can track the performance to see what performs best. Now, now that we know all the basics, so these are usually the industry standards that you're going to hear everywhere. We can now take Canva newsletter templates and make them our own. You can do this on the free version of Canva. You don't need the pro version of Canva. And all you have to do is log on to Canva and then search for newsletter. Once you search for newsletter, you're going to find a bunch of different templates available for newsletters. There are different themes that you can opt for, and most of these are multi-page templates, and I recommend creating multi-page newsletters. But at the end of this video, I'll show you guys how you can actually convert your regular newsletter into a flipbook to make it even more interesting. Now, First off, you need to choose the type of newsletter you're looking to send. You can go into the filters on the top to filter out the style that you're looking for. You can also search in different categories. So if I want, I can search for a color. I can also search for a style in particular as well. And you will see there are a bunch of different newsletter templates available. But I want to use something that's really interesting and engaging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on create a blank newsletter. Once you create a blank template on the top left, it still displays different templates for you. So I'm going to search for a colorful newsletter over here. And once I do that, you guys can see there are such amazing templates that I can choose. Now, I really like this one, so I'm going to choose this. And I think it's pretty cute or even this one. This one is even more interesting. So I'll, I will apply both the pages of this one because this is a simple newsletter that includes a call to actions for a purchase, which I want to create. Once I've done that, I can zoom in to start designing. So first off, I will replace the text and add my own brand name like this. Then I can delete the image from the top and I'll delete these two images. So I have a better idea of how many images I need to incorporate. Then I can incorporate my own images by going into the left panel over here and uploading my own product images or my own model images. I don't have any, so I will just be using model images, but you guys have to upload your own images onto these sections like so. So you can incorporate those like this over here. And you can also alter the placement of images by doing a double click and adjusting where the image fits. Now below that, I'll do the same thing and replace the images with my own product images or with my own images for my Shopify store or for my e-commerce store. I'll just incorporate these images like so. And once I've done that, I can replace the text over here. Now I've already written some text, so I'm just going to copy that over here into the newsletter like this. And then we have summer fashion, new collection, and then shop now. Then below that, we have a limited time offer, discounts, as well as a subscription option. Now I'm going to remove the subscription option because this is already a newsletter that is going to be sent to my existing subscribers. Instead, I want to incorporate these style tips into my newsletter. So I will just resize them and then place them over here like so. And then I'm going to increase the font size a little like this. And I think I'm going to remove the bottom image. Instead, I'm going to go for a larger section where I can display these types of style tips like so. 
And once I've done that, once I've chosen an appropriate size, I'm going to change the font from the top left like this. Once I've done that, I have a really nice newsletter ready. Now to convert this into a flipbook, I'm going to click on share on the top right. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click on more. Once you click on more, you can scroll down and you will see a section called design. You will see there are two applications that can help you in creating your own flipbooks. You have Hazeline flipbook and then you have simple booklet flip. Pick out whichever one you prefer and then click on save. You can even save this as a PNG and send this out as a regular newsletter, or you can use this method to incorporate a flippable element. So click on view in Hazine flipbooks or click on go to your homepage. And then currently my flipbook is being processed. So I'm going to have to wait a little while before I can view my flipbook. So now that Hazine has now processed my flipbook, I should be able to view it. And this can just elevate your flipbook and create a more appealing element, which is going to set your flipbook apart. So I have created a simple flipbook for free. This is absolutely free. You don't have to worry about paying for these types of flipbooks. However, there is a limitation. You guys can see this is what my flipbook looks like. And if you have a multi-page newsletter, then it looks really interesting to have this flippable element. You can click on save on the top left to save this or even click on share to share this in a form of a link or email where you're going to be able to send this out directly to your subscribers or even copy and paste the QR code so people can view via QR. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to incorporate these tips into your own newsletters. However, there are a few things you still need to keep in mind. When you're using things like Canva templates, it can be really easy to take the template as it is. Because these are designed to be highly converting, you sometimes might not make as many customizations to the template as you might have originally thought. But I always do recommend to add as many customizations as your heart desires. The reason for that is because if you take the template as it is, you might not incorporate valuable knowledge about your brand that you normally would have incorporated. Also keep in mind that even when you are sending these image-based newsletters, you still want to make sure that the subject line that you insert in Gmail is going to be really catchy because if people don't open up the email via the subject line, you're never going to get the chance to show them this amazing newsletter. And you also want high brand identity. It can seem really easy to get lost in Canva templates. So make sure to incorporate your own brand identity in every newsletter you build. I hope you guys found these tips helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.